on this day of our Lord and Savior, May 25th, 2023, I have a masterclass with Joyce Di Donato. After up your life. Welcome back to Opera Anna. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Anna. I'm an opera singer and today is a very special vlog because I'm taking you with me to a masterclass and not just any masterclass, Joyce Di Donato. As you can see, I'm currently in the airport getting ready to go to Zurich before I sing at two o'clock this afternoon and then jet set right back to Amsterdam. And for any of my followers who don't know who Joyce Di Donato is, all right, let's get into it. She is one of the most renowned mezzo sopranos of this generation, of this. She has won Grammy Awards. She has won the Metropolitan Opera's Beverly Sills Award, Gramophone Awards, Gramophone's Hall of Fame. She has an honorary doctorate from the Juilliard School. She has performed at the Metropolitan Opera at Houston Grand, Chicago Lyric, so many different theaters. She is a visionary and she has been an icon and an idol of mine for since I started singing, since before I started singing, I have followed her for years and now I get the chance to meet her and sing for her and not only sing for her but sing an aria for her from the character that she has performed, Sister Helen Prejean from Dead Man Walking by Jake Heggie. It is such a powerful aria, such a powerful opera and she has so many insights that I can't wait to get. I am psyched to be able to work on this aria with her. I can't, I just, I have so many feelings and I can't even process them because it's been such a crazy week that my brain hasn't even figured out what's happening. So now you know how big of a deal this is, especially for an opera singer like, ah, let's get into it, let's go. time to spare. Hour and a half before it starts, I'm second. I need to warm up, I need to stretch, I need to meditate. We've got more than enough to do. So um, I'm just gonna leave you running and we'll see what, 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 <sighs> I've gotta get ready to sing for Joyce.
meet you? Are you excited? I am. Speechless. Yes, I'm so yeah. excited. <laughs> I love that you're doing this aria. Me too. I saw that and I was like, yes. <laughs> yes, I've never coached it. I've never done it. Really? I know. Oh, I'm so glad I get to be your first. <laughs> yeah, me too. I'll always remember you. <laughs> Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, Joyce would like to warm up a bit herself. Could I assign you to another room? Of course, of course. I mean, I'll oh, bring oh, Wait, is this filming? Yes. I okay, wait, I'm <laughs> Get out! <laughs> it's my rehearsal room. I need. Time. I would love it. This is a luxury. We have such amazing repertoire today. Anna, hello! This is, this is gonna rock my world. I'm so excited. <laughs> I hope so. Yeah, let's do it. Hello, everybody. My name is Anna Trombetta. I am originally from Houston, Texas, but I live in Amsterdam. Um, I will be singing This Journey from Dead Man Walking by Jake Heggie. Um, the character that is singing is named Sister Helen Prejean. She's a nun and she is a spiritual advisor to a convicted murderer who is facing death. He's on death row. Um, she, in this scene, she's going to meet him for the first time. Um, they've had correspondence um, with letters and things, and she's going to meet him and is just contemplating the gravity of this situation, of this moment. Um, she's in her car on the way there. That's and he's a, a murderer. Yes, he is, yes. A he, rapist and a murderer. Yes. So it's a very... She's terrified, of course. Uh, who wouldn't be? Um... And yeah, I think I should just do it. No, yeah. <laughs> I, like <laughs> I mean, to start right in this particular place. place yeah. There's a. It's also written. There's a whole thing that happens before, but. For this kind of situation, this is the right place to mm -hmm. start the aria, but you have to be brave. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be like Sister Helen, yes. who is pretty much the bravest human being I think I've probably ever met. Um, oh, it, it, but so not, it, okay, l let me, I love that you present this aria because a lot of times people don't excerpt it. Um, have you been working on it for a while? Does that help? Yeah. I, um, I had it in my package like, two years ago, and then I started looking at different English things to present in auditions, so I haven't actually looked at it for a while. Oh, when okay. I, I offered it, and then I was like, oh, I've got to study again. Yeah, but I think, I think it's really, it's tricky. It's like, this is a little bit like Sein wir wieder gut, because you're sort of shot out of the canon, and you're up there right away, and you have these long phrases, yeah. and there's sort of nowhere to hide right off from the bat. You don't get a lovely recitative to start and feel the floor underneath you. Um, but that's, in this case, I would sort of go into what's happening in the aria. She's scared, she doesn't know what's happening, but she's going on faith. Yeah. And so that's a good mental place for you to put yourself as well to <laughs> launch into this, okay. you know? Um, there's, musically, this is a tricky piece to put in front of a yeah, pianist yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, because I'm sure if you audition or whatever, the pianists won't really know it. It's not like, voike sapete. Um, one thing that will help you, and I say this because it, I know from very difficult experience, the key to keeping this steady is holding the full length of the notes as they're written okay. and not coming in early. So he writes so many that are, you know, these quarter notes on, to my Jesus, to my God, you know, and you have to really keep organized the length of those notes because if you shut off, if you cut off early, the temptation then is to come in okay. early on the next phrase. Yeah. So just go back and re reacquaint yeah. that uh -huh. with you. What I want to ask you about 
um, because you have a beautiful presence. You're very, it's very clear you know what this is and um, you're delivering it very, it could be a little more um, stocky. Okay. It's just physically, because if you do anything too operatic, it starts yeah. to feel like ingenue rather than Sister Helen Prejean and the Sisters of Madai, and I'm going into death row. From Louisiana. She's from Louisiana. <laughs> and uh, she's as direct, straightforward, feet on the ground as you find. So it's a little more. Uh, <sighs> she's not, um, uh, how do I, mm. she's not interested in refined gesture sure. and all of that. She's just like, what do you got to tell me? Yeah. I need to know what we're getting. What, what are we looking at here? Gotcha. It's very straightforward. Mm -hmm. So okay. that physicality can help you just play yeah, with yeah, it yeah. Yeah, in yeah, your yeah. mind a little bit about how to deliver that directness while still being a little bit scared. Yeah. But I think Overall, what I'd like to talk with you about is just breath. Mm. <laughs> and how you think about it, how you start it, how you use it, how you allow it. Especially because these phrases are so long. And, you know, I, I sense a little bit that, and again, I know from experience, it's happening a little bit here yeah. rather than hua, yeah. Sister Helen land. Yeah. Feet on the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's not that it's not there. I mean, the, mm -hmm. I think the also the impulse of it being from this sort of. Do you ever primal think of it back thing. here? I think of it. I think of it sort of filling there, if that makes sense. Like, yeah, sort of all up and do, down. Do you mind if I touch? No, absolutely not. I'm supposed to ask that. Like, <laughs> like boom, like, ha, ha. Okay. Ha. Ah. It's, you know, in the, this is why I, 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 mm, I hesitate to talk pedagogy too much because it's a complicated thing. Sure. And especially if you're working in rethinking things. The one thing I'll say to you is the best definition I've ever heard of support for singing is that you inhale and then you sort of want to maintain that open position. Mm -hmm. And in my experience, when I'm really in the groove, the breath is, knows what to do, as long as you're not compressing it yeah. or forcing it. Mm -hmm. So this idea of opening, I, I get sometimes if you go too low, it's, um, uh, it, it, uh, you don't quite know where to, to find it to start in a way. So this idea of, a three-dimensional from the sides, from the back, especially the lower back, that all of that just opens. Mm -hmm. This journey, and I'm just, I'm not pushing out. I'm not mm, holding right. it. I'm in this kind of a, do you do yoga or anything like yeah, that? For sure. Okay, so that you know when it's an act, you're not tense, but you're active, and you're allowing the plank to keep going, right? It's that kind of, buoyant activity mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and especially I mean I sense from you like there's a little bit of collapse here yeah. when you sing and so I'm interested in you coming back further here okay. thinking of this solar plexus I like but don't just make it frontal it has to come on the sides and in the yeah. back of the lungs too okay. three-dimensional okay. three-dimensional yeah, yeah. okay can we just take a couple of those just think about what it feels like to like. Yeah. I yeah. Think the stocky Helen also It'll help her. Idea. It'll help you. I mean, that lady is grounded. Okay. This journey. Already, I like the connection better. So just when you do come in, just take it, take in a breath, and and then maintain. And that th is on that column of breath, in particular from back here on you. Okay. This journey. Wait. This yeah. So okay, we're gonna we're go, go phrase by phrase. Gotcha, gotcha. Sorry. Let me explain myself, <laughs> not yell at you. Um, so this journey. Reset. Same thing. Re refine that process. Don't repeat it. Mm -hmm. Find it new. Okay. So. Mm, okay, relax. Oh, yeah. Okay, <laughs> there we go. And this is saying, oh, open, especially in here. 
and this journey. Great, awesome. Now, as I hold that note, I'm thinking uh, a kind of bow and arrow. This journey. And when I release it, it's still traveling in that direction and that direction. And then I reset. This journey to my Christ. I'm still open. This journey, there's no okay. stop and yeah, start. Yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, so we're gonna go slow, slow phrase slow. by phrase, reset on each one. This Good. This journey. Reset and expand here. No, but really reset, don't go right on. Okay, so relax. Okay, okay. And now the second phrase. This journey to Christ. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Yeah, now reset. Oh, but you gotta relax first. Do you feel how you're perched? Yeah. Between? You got, uh, that tells you where your sound is coming from. Okay. Do you yeah. feel how you're stuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, so, this is why singers are so brave, right? If you get stuck here, that's where your sound is gonna come from. So this is why we're going slow, so that it's only my Christ. Oh my God! All oh right, look how locked I am. This and restart okay. from the really point zero. Keep coming back to that place. Should I do the to my Christ? We're gonna start the first one again. Okay, so this relaxes here, and your strength comes down here. And this journey. Release it forward. Okay, good. This journey to Christ. Release it. Release and reset. This journey Release. to my God. Release, keep going. Okay, good. You feel how you were ready to go on? Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, really hard. Because then you, you end up like that, and then you have to go... Uh, this journey to myself, <laughs> to my Jesus. <laughs> then we're in that in that zone. You know what yeah, I mean? Then we can get out of it, yeah. Right? Yeah. Okay. I also, um, you do yoga? Yeah. Or I like do, I do a lot of weightlifting and like heavy things. Okay, that's awesome. So I feel like I want you in that zone. Should I take off my heels? Yes. Especially for Sister Helen. I don't know that she's ever worn heels in her life. Probably those look like a heel is a little kitten. Um, what do you, like, I mean, what, do you do plank? Do you do downward dog? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do it. You want me to plank? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But like, like downward dog to plank. So when you breathe in, Okay, let's do, okay, I don't know that I can do this. I've come down here like I'm gonna really do this. <laughs> and now I'm in trouble. Okay. Let's go in this direction. <laughs> okay, so my idea is like, you breathe in here so you feel like your lower back, right? Yeah. Are they filming this? Yes. Good lord, okay, whatever. <laughs> you can tell it's post-pandemic. I just don't care. <laughs> I just like, let's just do it. Okay, so like, okay. okay. So like my idea is like, okay, we're in plank and then we're gonna breathe in really in the low back, right? Mm -hmm. And then let's start from here and go, this journey, this journey. Like your feet are, that's not easy. That's no. even harder because your her feet are gonna slip. But did you feel that connection? Yeah, it feels much um, like it. Mm, like I didn't. Yeah, I don't know. I felt like I actually had breath for the end of that <laughs> phrase. You did, yeah. and it was the sound was really connected. Did you guys hear that? That's using your body. Mm -hmm. You know, 
I think it's, it's weird for singers that we get into this, this zone and we're, we think we're going to make all of that sound and emotion and connection from this part of our body. And I keep, the longer I do this, it's like, it's not about learning how to sing, it's about how learning how to let go of everything that gets in the way, <laughs> right? And so it's interesting, when I asked you about breath, you had all these kind of like minutia answers that to me sound kind of complicated. <laughs> now, I mean, I'm not in your lessons, so I don't know, but it's like, they sound a little bit complicated. Sometimes just go where you find real connection to your body, mm -hmm. and that's, your breath knows what to do in that case. Yeah. Do you okay. want to try that one more time? Sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. With I think that I'm going to, uh, this is cool. <laughs> I've never done it before, okay? So, are you okay on your, with your feet? Yeah, it's good. Okay, so you, okay. you're in plank, you're in plank, oh. okay? And you're going to breathe in as you go back. And this journey. Okay, now wait, 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 awesome. Now I'm going to challenge you one more thing, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, relax. <laughs> No, this is going to be really hard. Okay. Time your arrival into full plank at the end of the phrase. So the first one goes fast. This journey, this journey to Christ. Now, this journey to my God. That's going to oh, yeah. be the hard one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's okay. try it. Right. Okay. <laughs> so we're in plank. We're in plank. And we, you crack. feel your, your feet. You feel your everything. Right? Okay. And this journey. And we breathe in. This journey to Christ. Now time this well. This journey to my God. You okay? Yeah. Okay, next phrase. <laughs> Breathe in. Yeah, otherwise I'm going to fall on my face. Right, <laughs> yeah. Now, but it's not rigid. No. It's no. fluid, it's activated, it's connected, it's strong, but it's fluid. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think it's a really, it's, that's going to put you in your body more. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. And you can do it with anything physical, like, you know, a twist or something, but keep going all the way to the end of that phrase. Okay. And then breathe, this kind of thing. Yeah. Because, okay. and I, when I see that, I don't see anything happening here. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, this, this is, is doing my, the work. In, I mean, yeah. Like I know it all. <laughs> yeah. Can we go? I, I understand, of course, it all. So, all of those phrases now are solved. Perfect. <laughs> but let's go to the end. Yeah, I see. On, I and when I'm nervous, um, I get. Of course, I'm but nervous. you know, imagine doing this a few times just off stage before you come on. Yeah. And your yeah. body, it's like, oh, right. And you get out of your head, you get into your body. Yeah. Literally, right? Um, so let's try. Are you okay? Do we do a couple more? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. So can we go measure 676, page 59, I think? Death, maybe. And what else I want to know? And here we go. You're going to pace the, no, into the plank this journey, this journey to Jesus. And then comes a long one. I'll do it with you. Let's do it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> What, uh, yeah, this journey. Wait, which, what? This journey. Death. Oh, death, death maybe. maybe. Sorry. Yeah. yeah. Death, maybe. Quick breath. And what else I want to do. Keep the breath here. Keep on. Keep it here. This journey. Make sure you don't arrive in the final plank. This 
frame. Until the end of the phrase. Okay? Until the end of the phrase. So this journey. right that's that it's you know it's a two-way stretch it's connected it's um it's just here it's on the breast support yeah. but it's still fluid it's still mobile it's not rigid it's not <gasps> right. right right i think it's fantastic <laughs> brava i'm gonna send this video to sister helen and jake <laughs> and she's gonna she no i tell you right now She's gonna be like, Joyce, now what you got that poor girl doing? <laughs> what, what are you making her do? And then she's like, I'm gonna try that. She'll try it. I, I swear she will, yeah. I imitate her, but beautiful. Thank Anna, you. it's just really great. Thank you so much. Yeah, I think this is just really will kind of guide you about where to, what direction to go. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. Glorious. Perfect, thank you. You're welcome, brava. Well, everybody, I had a master class with Joyce Donato, and uh, my life will ever be defined from before and after this point. No, not really. I mean, in a way, maybe, yes, but I got back this morning. I didn't film any of the coming back in the airport because it was super early and it's also like the most boring content ever. So I decided to use that time that I saved not filming it to talk about the masterclass. So here I am talking about the masterclass. Um, it was a bit of a whirlwind. It was only one afternoon long. So I flew to Zurich. I went straight to the venue, I warmed up, and I went onto stage. I was the second one singing. Um, she came to talk to us for a little bit beforehand to sort of, you know, just calm our nerves a little bit and talk about how it was going to work. Um, and just so lovely. I had already sort of gotten that vibe from her that she was just a beautiful human and that was just reinforced before and during um, and yeah so I sang this journey from Dead Man Walking by Jake Heggie which is a role that she has done she has met the person who um, the role is based off of Sister Helen Prejean and um, you know I've sung better I will admit I was not very happy with how I did but um, she, she started talking about the breath, she started talking about um, getting into your body, and these are all things that I am very aware of being like an issue for me whenever I get nervous, my breath just leaves my body and just like is like, bye, have fun, and then it's not fun at all. <laughs> so, so even though I would have liked to work on the music and the text and maybe get into the character a bit, um, and I was disappointed that we didn't and also disappointed for her because she told me that she had never coached that aria before and I was like yay we get to work on it together and then I felt like I had disappointed her um, I have a lot of reasons of my own for why it happened for like why I didn't sing as well as I as I maybe wanted to but I don't really want to get into them just because they're excuses and I think it's also something to turn into a learning opportunity. I think what's really important for me now is A, to work on the breath and like get that really like solid 
and know in the future, okay, your breath leaves you when you get nervous and when you go on stage. So how are we going to address this before you go on stage next time? Um, and getting my pre-performance ritual just like super, super solid. I'm learning what I need, um, how much time I need, how much, um, you know, what the state of mind do I need to be in. Um, I've worked on that before, but I feel like recently I've sort of been taking it for granted. So I I know what I need to do and I just need to like go back go back and 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 you know work out the kinks and trust that 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 is actually good for me and not blow it off. <laughs> so that's what we're going to do. I flew back this morning at like 6 a.m. Well, I got to the airport at 6 a.m. and I'm back home now. I'm utterly exhausted. The only reason I'm wearing makeup is because I had to teach a lesson, otherwise I would be in my bed. And the fact that I'm so tired and the fact that I had a very busy week leading up to the master class and it was a very old piece that I had to like get ready again in a very busy period of my year um, in like two weeks or something, like a week and a half, I'm just choosing to give myself some grace. And I think it's really important for other singers to realize that not every time you go on stage is going to be your best and it's about reflecting on it and using it as a learning opportunity and not beating yourself up about it. I am so good at beating myself up about every single little thing and I'm here to tell you it is not helpful. I was really grateful to Joyce afterwards in the after the masterclass in the Q&A section that she sort of touched on this aspect um, in answering some of the questions that people had and sort of brought me back from a dark place that I was going into in my head after I performed and not done as well as I had wanted to. Um, watching the other people perform and you know getting inspiration from them and just like how adorable Joyce is. It had already it had already pet me up a little bit but then her addressing the fact that like it's all great you're fine everyone's on their on their path um i was just really grateful to her for that as well so just grateful times a million to joyce donato for for coming to vintatua i'd also never been there in my life i felt so random going there i was like is this a scam is she actually coming i don't i've never heard of this place before in my life um and I'm just really, really grateful for the opportunity to sing for her. And hopefully, 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 I can sing for her again one day. She gives um, longer master classes um, every year in New York at Carnegie Hall. And who knows, Joyce, just put manifesting, putting it out into the universe. I would love to join you in New York one year. <laughs> Before this gets way too long, I'm just gonna stop myself. I could go on for hours, I think, about this topic, but I hope you enjoyed getting a little behind the scenes action into what singers do to perfect their craft, to the stress we sometimes go through to do all the things that we need to do, like flitting up and down to Zurich, um, to Switzerland, to be able to participate in this. Um, and I hope it gives other singers perspective on their own journey because we can all use a little perspective and we can all use a little grace in our lives and from ourselves. So I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. It'll probably be an Ari Explained since we haven't had one in a while. I love you. Follow on Instagram. Buy me a coffee. Adio. Can I talk to the camera? Yes. I love you guys. Hang in there. Addio, addio, speranze